What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I got this particular video yesterday from a gentleman by the name of Random Rel. And he has a video that's been going quite viral on, I want to say, The Shade Room or um, The Spiritual Word. And, you know, he talks about that most men can spot a woman's brokenness from a mile away. And you know what? Let me go ahead and let play that clip here and then we'll come back. Strap up. This might sting a little bit. We can recognize your brokenness from a mile away. And we make a conscious decision as to whether or not we're going to be with you on any level more than sexual. Because secretly, we're tired of being made the blame for your shortcomings and the decisions you decide to make. Will we still entertain you? Yes. But will we do so knowing this will never go anywhere? Also, yes. What are you saying, preacher? Most men of a certain caliber and maturity have a very high level of emotional intelligence. But that's just not something we want you guys to be privy to. Just thought you should know. Okay, bye. So guys, we're gonna talk about this because again, uh, this is a very intelligent video. And I think for the majority of us, um, especially as, 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 as men, as the old folk used to say, we're becoming what is known as seasoned. As the old folk in the South used to say, if you guys have, from my generation, you heard that word seasoned means you're experienced. A lot of men, um, are engaging with women in today's world. And, you know, we can look through certain things to understand what we're dealing with. Okay. And we see it coming from a mile away, especially when we are able to put together certain things that we've seen repetitively or heard repetitively on dates. For an example, you date a young lady and she tells you something to the fact like, you know, my baby daddy had an issue. Um, he was cheating on me. He did this, you know, I'm not like these other girls, you know, I'm different. And you, you, you start hearing those things and you're already looking at her as like, okay, here we go again. Right. I don't need no man to help pay my bills. I have a kid, but I'm not looking for a man to come in and I can take care of myself. Then we can look at the pictures on your Instagram. We can look at, you know, where you're having dinners at and we can kind of decipher you're not financially stable. You don't know how to use money. Although you're trying to make yourself look like you're somebody special, clearly you're not. You're living check to check or on credit cards or stuff like that. But you, you look nice though. You got a nice butt. Um, you, you, you're fun to be around. But we already know that this ain't gonna go nowhere. You don't know that. We don't, we know that. We know that you are situationship material because we can't trust you. But since you here, let me go ahead and knock you off real quick. And we have a good time. You don't know that that's all it's going to be because you think that you're better than what you are, but that's what's going to happen. And then though, you're going to have a problem with that because the reality is, is you taught us how to treat you. And that's something that a lot of people don't understand. A lot of ladies, how they come off how they dress, their attitude. I want to give a shout out to a brother I heard say this uh, also very recently. King Dreism, he has about a 1 million followers on TikTok. He has something very, you know, very interesting. Um, you People, and it's something I've been always saying, and Steve Dean's been saying for years. So you're not saying anything, anything new. You teach people how to treat you, right? Well, women inherently do that. The way they dress, the things they say, and most women will tell you their past experiences. And then some of them are smart enough to tell you what actually happened and blaming everybody else for the problem. So, I mean, there we go. Now we know what you're working with and you're no different from the, the, the rest of the people that we've been dealing with. You don't have anything extra to give, although you expect that you're going to get it, but okay, let's go ahead and go through the motions and then we'll, you know, we'll be in the in-between time in the meantime for you. So six months to a year, you'll play that and that's going to be it now you thinking it's going to be more than that but it's not now let me just say this what part he left out guys when you know these things and you decide to deal with it you know 
I, we have a tendency as men to complain about the outcome. And that includes me. We know that it's not going to go anywhere with her. And when it doesn't go anywhere with her, we have the tendency to be, a, to, to be, to be mad. We have the tendency to be upset. We do. We're going to be real. Although we knew that it wasn't going to go anywhere. Guys, we need to seriously stop that shit. Guys, we have to stop it. We know it's not going anywhere. Why are we mad? Why are we mad, bro? We know it's not going anywhere. You know, we, we, we know that she ain't even worth our time. And I'm just going to be real. A lot of times that we're even engaging in this stuff because we haven't got ourselves in a situation where it could be something different. That's the reality. We don't want to say that, but it's the truth. We have not gotten ourselves in a situation where it's different. Want to know what? That, 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 that's our problem. And hopefully we can get to a situation where, all right, you know, I'm so successful or whatever. And I know that's kind of difficult to be like, but you know, everybody is, that we're coming across has some potential. Okay. Some potential for it to go somewhere, but this is going to be real, man. A lot of ladies that, 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 that guys are coming across, you know, they're coming with uh, a lot of, uh, 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 either being mentally broke, economically broke. And let me just say this to be fair and be real. You ladies out there who are looking for a man that is very successful. You ladies out there who are looking for a man who are doing very well. How can that man, listen to what I'm about to tell you guys. If you don't have your finances together, you're looking for a rich man to come and save you. Do you obviously know how many rich women that's out there that come from a culture of understanding money, of how money works? That does a man want to come and give some, uh, give his life to a woman who can just financially ruin him? destroy his life like who who would like to do that who i i would want to know who that's the that's the fundamental problem that we're dealing with here and we're dealing with that and we're dealing with that very 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 in a very difficult way that is problematic very much so but guys what do you think it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains all time high. I'm out.